occupational therapy students have been using Second Life to promote occupational therapy and teach the Second Life community about occupational therapy and different areas of practice. For those of you who do not know what occupational therapy is, it is all about promoting participation in meaningful activities. We want our clients to live life to the fullest. This presentation was about universal design, which was a topic that was presented in our occupational therapy curriculum. This topic is so important because this type of design could have such a positive effect on so many people. Therefore, we thought it would be a great topic to present to the people in the Second Life community. We gave this presentation three separate times to three different audiences. We also gave several tours through an adapted home, an adapted playground, and a healthy aging exhibit. Universal design is a building and design technique that is used to promote participation by all individuals, including those who have a disability and those who don't. The designs are aesthetically pleasing and can be enjoyed by everyone, regardless of ability. In class, we were taught the seven principles of universal design and how universal design could benefit all people. We were shown how aspects of universal design were built into homes and public places to enhance participation in occupations. During our presentation, we explained the concept of universal design and showed many images of examples of universally designed items and spaces. We presented this topic by using a PowerPoint slide of pictures and information while speaking more in depth about universal design and its benefits. We also encouraged questions and discussion from our visitors. We did three presentations on the topic to accommodate as many people as possible. Our visitors expressed a great deal of interest in the subject and were very involved in the discussion. Universal design is such a new and interesting subject. Many people have never heard of universal design and may not understand the difference between universal design and adaptive design. To further explain the topic of universal design, we led several tours. During these tours, we led visitors through an adapted playground, an adapted home, and a healthy aging exhibit. The tours provided visitors with an opportunity to explore some of our adapted areas and see how adaptations can be made to provide access to all users of a space. Incorporating what we learned in class into our Second Life presentations and projects allowed us to expand our knowledge and review the information more in depth. Presenting the information to an audience and having them ask questions challenged us to think quickly and fully grasp the concepts. We believe that this project benefited the individuals who attended the presentations, as well as provided us with more opportunities to learn and promote occupational therapy. It was really interesting because we had people from all over the world and from all different backgrounds to see how people without disabilities really had never thought of this topic before, and even people with disabilities they had no idea this even existed and they got to express their struggles with their environments and they were really excited about how universal design could make their everyday lives easier. They asked a lot of really good questions. One of the questions was how we can motivate businesses and restaurants, hotels to implement universal design. And you know, I think the answer to that question is we need to advocate for universal design and as occupational therapists we need to get involved and work with architects and get out there and really explain to these businesses that it's only going to benefit them because everyone's going to be able to come in and use this space and buy their products. So it's really beneficial to them to use universal design.